And we're going to lead off this Monday with the very latest from Russia's war on Ukraine. Kiev is under new attack this morning. That is video capturing one of the airstrikes on the Ukrainian capital this morning. Ukrainian officials say Russian forces targeted the city with self-destructing drones. Now we have video into us that captures an extraordinary moment. You're going to see an air defense missile firing and then the blast from a drone strike. The drone strikes sent people on the streets scrambling as air defenses rattled over their heads. Ukrainian officials say at least three people have been killed. A number of buildings are badly damaged in the aftermath and some are on fire. So with that, by way of introduction, let's go to senior correspondent Briar Stewart, who is live with us from Dnipro in Ukraine this morning. Tell us more, Briar, any further detail on these drone strikes on the capital today? Well, in fact, Heather, the strikes actually began late last night. Air raid sirens were in effect really for large parts of the night and into this morning. And what Ukrainian officials say is that there were about 38 uh, drones that targeted all across Ukraine. The majority of those uh, moved toward uh, the capital, Kiev. And they said that the majority of them were shot down. But obviously the, the videos that you're playing and the images that we're seeing uh, show just that there was a, a level of destruction. We know that a high-rise apartment building was hit and that a re rescue effort is underway to get get people out of the rubble. And, you know, listening to people describe just what it was like to be in the capital and to hear it, I mean, they talked about hearing a sequence of sounds. They talked about the, the hum of the drones because they are low flying. It's the sound is very audible for people. Then they talked about how they would hear gunfire. And that's because one of the ways that Ukraine tries to disrupt these drones is that they, they fire at them with rifles. So you had members of the military, you had officers uh, in the capital on the streets with rifles pointing to the sky trying to shoot them down. And then in many cases, we know that there, there was an explosion. Now, the mayor of Kiev, uh, Vitaly Klitschko, he spoke a little while earlier uh, just about how indiscriminate these attacks are, particularly this comes just a week after more than 80 missiles uh, were targeted all across Ukraine. And now today you have news of more death. Take a listen. Here, in historical center, live unguilty civilians. And what did Russians? They destroyed our country. They destroyed our hometown. It's terror, it's terror attack. It's true. It's the true face of this war. Now, in addition to that high-rise apartment building that was hit, there were... Uh structures associated with the power grid that were targeted all across Ukraine, not just in the capital region, but also where I am in Dnipro, because there today there are hundreds of, of villages, uh, small communities that are without power because the power grid has uh, been damaged. And it really doesn't come as a surprise at all. I mean, that's what the strikes were targeting last week. And in fact, Russia's President Vladimir Putin had talked about how there were a number of uh, infrastructure targets that they hadn't hit yet and that they would be doing so over the coming days. And, and that is what we saw here this morning. Russian forces, Briar, it seems, are using this kind of drone strike or drone rather to strike those Ukrainian cities. And it seems with more frequency. Can you tell us any more about them? Well, what Ukraine says is that the drones that Russia has have been purchased by Iran. Iran has denied that. But there has been a lot of attention paid to just how these drones operate and how they're being used. I mean, I spoke with an analyst this morning who said the thing with these drones are is that they're relatively cheap to buy and they can be deployed in swarms. So you could uh, basically dispatch a bunch of drones to hit a single target. Now, it's not quite clear that that's how Russia is using them, but obviously they are sending a number of these up in the sky at one time. And I think the, the other thing is that um, analysts are saying is that even though they are low flying, it can be hard for them to uh, be detected. And that's just because the body of the drone is actually so small and certain air defense systems simply don't detect it, which is why they do rely on members of the military on the street, you know, holding the rifles pointing at the sky. I did speak with an analyst a little earlier this morning. He talked about how, you know, these, these strikes are really a way to uh, kind of instill fear in the population. Here's some of my interview. It is. It mostly seeks to uh, keep Ukrainians, and by that I mean Ukrainian citizens, on their toes, 
and inflict as much damage as possible to uh, civilian infrastructure, ba basically to make Ukrainians' lives mi mi miserable. And I think that really is the question, is just how does the, the psyche here become affected by all of this? Obviously, after the strikes last week, uh, you know, where people spent hours in the shelters and in the metro stations underground, people were very fearful. But since then, it has been, you know, relatively quiet here, I would say. But then we saw people running to the shelters again this morning. So I do think, you know, when these things happen with a certain level of frequency, um, you know, we will see people's attitudes adjust, even though people in Ukraine talk about, you know, resiliency and resolve. It is quite something when you're routinely woken up to air raid sirens and the sounds of explosions. Breyer, thank you again for today. Breyer Stewart, our senior correspondent who is in Dnipro, Ukraine, for us.